welcome to the Daily Mix at Home Edition. I'm Angela Sharp, happy to have you here. I hope that you know, things have been going well for you. You know, I've said this since the beginning of quarantine. I feel like at the end of quarantine, there are gonna be a lot of people having babies, getting divorced, or maybe even getting married. And I do have to say congratulations to my little sister. Some blues fans may remember her. She was on the Blue Crew, I think six seasons. So she scraped the ice a lot of time and she recently got engaged. Um, they actually currently live in Maine, but I'm hoping to kind of rope them back into St. Louis sometime soon. You guys know I got a great show for you coming up. We're gonna talk about the MLB without fans. We've got all sorts of awesome fitness challenges and things to keep you occupied while you stay at home. So let's get started on today's Daily Mix. fans and all of MLB has been ready to get back and the MLB Owners Association has come up with a plan. 50-50 split with revenue, a shorter season, starting in the beginning of July with the universal designated hitter. Now, you know, us National League people tend to steer away from the DH, but you know, I did spend some time with the Tampa Bay Rays, so I'm kind of used to it now. By the time you see this, the Players Association should have gotten back to them. We'll have to see what happens, but be sure to follow the Cardinals online and at cardinals.com for the latest season updates. I know you're going right there right now if you didn't know about all this, but you probably knew because here in St. Louis, we are ready for Cardinals baseball. St. Louis is known for a lot of things, like Cardinals baseball, the blues, the gateway arch, toasted ravioli, gooey butter cake, which is my favorite. You know, the list goes on and on. But now we can add the title of coolest U.S. city flag to the list. The March Madness of Flags recently pitted 64 U.S. cities against each other to see who had the coolest flag. Now, we may have been seated 64, but that didn't stop us from going head to head and defeating New York, Albuquerque, Indy, and Portland. And in the final round, we beat out Tulsa with over 94% of the vote to be ground champion. The madness is continuing all over the world. To see which region is competing next, you can follow Flags March on Twitter. I know, you never really thought we would have had a flag competition, but you know, quarantine does a lot of crazy things. Now, how would you like to shape the future of downtown St. Louis? Design Downtown STL is currently holding an online open house featuring interactive exhibits and video presentations to share the vision they have created for the coming decade in downtown. You're invited to explore the proposed plans and offer your feedback and ideas. The open house is available through May 22nd and it can be found at downtownstl.org. As the COVID-19 crisis continues, many food banks are really feeling strained as they're feeding more people than ever before. Now the good news is that we are continuing to see organizations of all sizes stepping up to help. That includes the Midwest Dairy and the 6,500 dairy farmers they represent. They recently announced that they will be donating $500,000 to purchase dairy products for food banks throughout the Midwest, including the St. Louis Area Food Bank. You can learn more about Midwest Dairy at MidwestDairy.com. You can also find out more information about the St. Louis Area Food Bank by visiting stlfoodbank.org. Powerplex STL and several community partners are joining forces to offer graduating seniors a memorable graduation ceremony, all while social distancing. Eight area high schools have already committed to holding their graduations at the Powerplex, located at the former St. Louis Mills Outlet Mall in Hazelwood. More than 2,700 graduates and 3,500 guests are expected to attend in this massive drive-in commencement ceremony. The events will be held in the parking lot 
and families will be able to stay in their vehicle and watch on the jumbotrons, all while listening on their car radios. The graduations will be held May 29th through June 10th. You can learn more about the ceremonies and find out how your school can participate by visiting PowerPlex on Facebook or at PowerPlexSTL.com. You know, everybody, myself included, really feel for those high school seniors. You miss so much. And graduation is something you work so hard for. And while your plans are surely looking different than you ever expected, we want to help you guys celebrate. If you're a high school senior, send us a 10 second video on Facebook or Instagram telling us your name, the name of your school, and that you are the class of 2020. And we'll be sure to give you a shout out on STL TV. Over the past several weeks, all kinds of viral fitness challenges have been making the rounds on social media. Now there's a new one to start right here in St. Louis, and it just might provide you some monumental motivation to get you moving. The Gateway Arch Park Foundation is challenging lovers of the arch near and far to climb the stairs of the arch. There are 1,076 stairs in each leg of the arch, so that's 2,152 stairs just over a mile. You can join the challenge by climbing your own stairs, walking on the block, jogging on a treadmill, really whatever works for you. Now for a little extra motivation, everyone who completes the challenge will be entered to win a t-shirt from the Gateway Arch Park Foundation. So what are you waiting for? Be sure to snap a pic or a video of yourself in action and share it on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, tagging Gateway Arch Park and using the hashtag Gateway Arch Step Challenge. And here's another really cool challenge that recently got its start right here in St. Louis. Local musician and life arts founder Brian Owens was moved to start this Stand By Me Challenge after his friend asked him to send a video thanking a healthcare worker for the new website and movement Six Feet Closer. Owens sang Stand By Me to his assigned stranger, a doctor named Iris, and Iris's response inspired Owens to start the challenge. Check out this video by Owens. It really sums it all up. Tell me, um, we've never met. Kelly, what's up? Hey, Iris. Hello, Basil. My name is Russ. Hey, Krista. Hi, Miss Haley. Where the hell is the kid? You know, I just want to take this time to say thank you so much. Thank you for fighting the good fight. Thank you for your sacrifice and your dedication. Thank you for all the work that you've been doing, helping all the sick people in this time of Corona. You're amazing. It's because you are the real deal. I want you to know we're standing by you right here in St. Louis, Missouri. And I just wanted to say thank you in the best way that I know how. even better. They've had some amazing partners join them to donate a meal to a frontline worker for every video submitted for the challenge. I love that. You can learn more about the Stand By Me Challenge at lifecreativegroup.co and don't worry if you're not a singer, everyone is welcome and encouraged to participate. You can sign up to make a video for a healthcare worker at sixfeetcloser.com. And we are really are so grateful for all our healthcare workers out there, as well as other essential workers who continue to put themselves out there to keep things running and make sure all our needs are met. So I want to take a minute and thank some of our daily mix heroes. all those heroes and if you know an essential worker a friend family member neighbor you want to shout them out you can DM us on Facebook or Instagram or better yet post them yourself and use the hashtag the daily mix heroes that way we can find them and feature them on an upcoming show now that's pretty much gonna do it for the daily mix but you know what keep your head up you know there is some light at the end of this tunnel like who knows what it's gonna look like for the next year or so but you know, with MLB thinking about coming back, even without fans, it does look like maybe some sense of 
normal might be coming back. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but it looks good. Don't forget you can check us out on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. You can always drop us a line at the Daily Mix at stltv.net. We do want to hear from you. Let us know what's going on. If there's something we should cover, just keep us in the loop. Now that's going to do it for the Daily Mix, but keep it right here on STL TV and Experience St. Louis. <laughs>